morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video we're going to be cleaning up this old 1800s ball peen hammer. We got all the old wood inside here still. So what we're going to do is get all that old wood out of there and we'll actually be able to get the handle in. Oh yeah, nice and rusty too. We absolutely Clean all this up. Get on in there tighter. A lot of stuff falling out of here. Old wood. The original handle this baby had. I don't see a name on this ball peen hammer, but it was at an area where we found. A whole bunch of axe heads and ball peen hammers was a house and it's been gone since the 1920s. Check out that pile of wood and rust. Now you gotta clean that stuff out from the inside there. That is all rust and old wood. That absolutely have very bad consequences if you don't clean that out because it's just going to keep on rusting so you gotta get the old wood out from under there clean all the rust out and now we're going to stick uh, the old dremel in there and grind that down to fresh metal too just so we don't end up doing all this work for nothing you can see up in there but we got that nice and clean on the inside perfect for the handle now we're gonna give it the old flapperoo flap flap flapperoo all that extra came out
I'll be darned. You can see reflection in that thing. You could eat off of it. All we're going to be doing is putting a flat black over it. I love that color. Flat black. Ooh, it's a beauty. But we're going to rust treat it up. We're going to get all the dust out of here. I know I should have been wearing a mask. I actually forgot all that iron dust. But I'm still alive, so whatever. We'll uh, get this cleaned up. And then we'll uh, start getting the uh, redneck paint booth going. She's a beauty. I could go at it with the sander for another hour and get some more of them pits out, but I'm just going to be painting it with the flat black, so that kind of defeats the purpose. I like a flat black ball peen. They look good. Flat black is just wonderful. We're going to use Permatex and flat back rust -oleum. Let's get her done. Well, we got the old trusty white paint booth over here. Sometimes it identifies as a potting bucket. That's why I got the holes here. Sometimes it's a paint booth. Other times it's a chair. We don't discriminate around here. Whatever it wants to be, it's going to be. And today, it's going to be a paint booth. All right, we got our uh, trusty place grips over here. Permatex for us treatment. We're going to give her a old shaky shake. And then we're going to spray her on, let her dry, give her another coat, give her a faint little tss -tss hint of this bad boy. Just a little bit. Flat black, protective enamel. She's going to look good. We'll let her dry a little bit, and we'll put the old handle on her. Give this girl her legs back. Give her a chance to strut around town. About 10 inches away. It's nice and windy today. Alright. Okay. Unhook it. A little spritz. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. already drying somewhat. Just want to give her a light spritz. I don't want her to be shiny. Put it right in the sun for a chance to bake. Did it a little heavy right on this side, but it's drying good.
router. Last but not least, pull this old dude off. <laughs> 